What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about NFC, near field communication. Now before you stop right there or close this video, you're going to tell yourself, I don't have an NFC phone. They do sell micro SD uh, cards that have NFC capabilities. So if you don't have an NFC phone, you can make your phone NFC and you might actually enjoy this video and figure out that NFC is pretty cool. So without further ado, let's get started. Before we get started, I want to talk about the NFC tags because not all tags are created equal. And when you're looking to buy tags, I think it's important for you guys to know what's out there. I buy my tags through tagsfordroid.com. And the reason for it is that most NFC tags hold about 144 uh, bytes of information. Some of the cheaper ones hold about 44 bytes of information. Tags for Droid holds 1,000 bytes of information, which is essentially a kilobyte. It's not a lot, but when you're writing a lot of information, you have longer URLs, believe me, trust me, you're going to want one that holds a lot of information. Uh, these do not work on metal. If you do stick them to metal, there's a good chance that it will not read or write to them, so be careful when you do that. Um, these are made of rigid PVC. They are not like many others that are made of stickers. And I think that's important for you guys to know because these last a long time. As a matter of fact, most of the time you're going to have trouble with the uh, uh, actual adhesive in the back. The adhesive is great. They actually use 3M adhesive and it works fantastic. You can stick these outside. They're actually waterproof. You can dunk them in water and it'll work. But if you try to peel them off, what's going to happen is that you're going to ruin the adhesive and uh, the, the actual tag will work and like I said, the tag itself will outlast the adhesive. Um, so you have to be careful with that. The reading distance is about two centimeters, but that really depends on the phone. Um, a lot of people have asked if uh, these work with cases and I've read through forums that people using OtterBox cases, which is those really thick cases, they have no problems at all. Um, you guys could read that for yourself. Um, I've used a case before. I don't tend to use cases on mine, but I've actually tried it out and it works just fine. Um, the reason why these work with cases is because it uses a real wire coil as the antenna instead of the printed antenna on paper stickers. So that's really a bonus on these uh, tags. So let's take a look at some of the things that we can do with these uh, NFC tags. So I have my stack of NFC tags over there and there's a lot of things that you can do with NFC and I'm going to show you just a few. Um, I use a program called NFC Task Launcher. It's very easy to use and you can do a lot of things with it. Another nice thing about it is that it also integrates with Tasker which can take this to a whole different level. The way this works, and this is not really an app tutorial, this is just kind of showing you how or what you can do with NFC. Um, so I'm not going to go through everything here. I'm going to create a new task. Now you'll notice that you can do other things like new switch, new URL, or new URI, excuse me, new URL, new V card. Anyhow, I'm, like I said, I'm not going to review this app. I'm just going to show you a couple things about it. Um, I'm going to add a new action. So for example, we'll do something simple. We'll have the Wi-Fi turn off whenever I um, have this uh, NFC tag being red. So let's go ahead and disable Wi-Fi. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and choose next. And it's asking me to place tag inside back of the phone to write it. So all I have to do is this. Okay, you'll hear that noise. And it says that the tag was written successfully. Okay, so now you'll notice, let me just go ahead and exit out of here. You'll notice that my Wi-Fi is turned on. Now, if let's say I'm at the office and I have this little cute Android sticker on my desk and whenever I leave the office I want to turn my Wi-Fi off without having to go through so many steps or you know sometimes tasker can be a little complicated all I have to do and just pay attention to my Wi-Fi that's it easy as that now my Wi-Fi has turned off my 4G is kicking in and I'm ready to go home so as I mentioned before, I just wanted to give you guys some examples of how NFC tags are used. This is the same tag I just wrote a few uh, uh, seconds ago, and I'm going to show you Wi-Fi is turned on, and I'm going to use it again. There's a reason for that. Okay, now Wi-Fi is turned off and 4G is on. 
I'm going to show you that you can rewrite these tags and I'm going to use a different example. There's a reason why this laptop is here and don't mind the fingerprints. It's a fingerprint magnet. So for example, you have your laptop and I like to tether. I'm going to show you another way or another use of an NFC action. Okay, Let's go ahead and load an application. I want to open an application and it's going to load the list and this is Wi-Fi Tether at the very bottom. Okay, Go ahead and do that. Click on Next. Now let me write the tag. Remember that this tag was already written with um, the Wi-Fi. The tag was successfully written. Let's go ahead and close this. So now I place my cool tag, let's say here next to my laptop. Now because I am using metal, um, unfortunately for me it won't work. So those of you that also have metal, like a MacBook or something like that, um, it may not work. So I have to be, show you over here. Um, so I have my laptop and I'm ready to tether. So just do this. And there it is. Wi-Fi tether is now activated. I just push on that and I can tether to my laptop. Now let me show you that it does not work with the metal. So or sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. So let's see if it's going to work now. Okay, it doesn't work because of the metal. Um, so that sucks for me, but outside, no problem. Now for this next one, I'm in my car, and there's my little tag that I have. I have an Android car. <laughs> now I'm going to create a new task, or not, well I guess it is a task. And by the way guys, sorry, if, uh, I'm holding the camera with one hand, and that's why I have to have the phone right here. So I'm going to be using Tasker. Now if you haven't seen my Tasker series, I highly recommend you watch that first, or for at least for this action here. I'm going to say use a Tasker action, okay? And there it is right there, Tasker task. And I did this in my first part beginner's guide. So whenever my NFC, whenever I, I uh, touch it, I wanted to initiate my car mode, okay? And that's my tasker task. Like I said, if you haven't seen that, go ahead and um, watch that so you understand because that's a whole different thing. So let me go ahead and write it. Okay, there it goes. So I've written my tasker, and this is where you could really take NFC to a whole different level. So now I'm in my car. I get into my car and I want to initiate my car mode. No problem. Just do this. There it goes. And then immediately I could just dock this here. without any problems okay and there's my car mode and all I had to do was um, use my NFC tag down there NFC is still in its infancy today we use it to pay for goods sometimes I pay for food and one of the things that I like about tags for droid is that they sell these keychains I actually have one and I use it all the time you can store information in here. For example, you can store your business card. You can have your website so that if somebody has their phone, you can just say, hey, here's my website. Go ahead and access it. You can even have it so that it dials a specific number. So when you use your phone, it can dial, let's say, to your family, 911, whatever, in case of an emergency. There's so many different uses for NFC, and it's just getting started. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let your friends and family know about this channel if they like technology. Uh, I am going to be giving away some NFC tags. So if you're not following me on Twitter or Google+, I highly suggest you do, especially if you have an NFC-enabled phone. I'm going to go ahead and hold a few uh, giveaways there. So anyhow, guys, thanks again for watching. I've reached over 20,000 subscribers, and if it wasn't for you guys, I would not be making these videos that I highly enjoy making them for everyone. So thanks again, and I will see you in my next video.